Sasha Knapp is in Europe's icebox in Arvidsjaur, Sweden, where it's minus 25 degrees Celsius. He's here to test the 221 kilowatt Golf R. He doesn't expect to get anywhere near the rated 7.1 liter fuel consumption, though. He's here to practice driving on ice. But before a car tester can get out on the frozen lake, he has to take a special driving safety course. The Volkswagen Driving Experience Training Course runs the world's northernmost driving safety center here. Depending on the weather, Arctic automotive adventurers can come here to get experience driving on ice and snow between February and late March. Driving instructor Benjamin Leuchter has the participants turn donuts so they can learn to control a drifting car, a situation they don't encounter every day out driving in the city. For the day's first exercise, the participants learn about drifting, and their car is no less than the most powerful Golf that VW has to offer. And that's the car we're going to take a closer look at. Any driver who's experienced the Golf R in action on snow and ice will hardly want to go back to dry roads. Turning donuts is more fun. This is the sportiest series produced Golf, and it looks it. It proudly wears the R in its grill, and on the rear, so other drivers can see just what drifted past them. The participants here quickly realize it takes lots of practice to learn to control a drift. Meanwhile, we can take a peek at the Golf R's interior. Typically for the Golf, the cockpit is uncluttered. No unnecessary gadgetry to distract the driver from what's important, the view of the road. The seats provide lateral support, the better for the driver to feel the road underneath. The speedometer goes all the way up to 320 kilometers per hour, but the car is electronically limited to 250. Back on the ice, this Golf's been used as a dog sled without the dogs. The front air intakes have to be cleared of snow to keep the two liter turbo four cylinder engine from overheating in spite of the cold. Benjamin Leuchter says everyone should take some driving training once a year. The instructors themselves take training every year. He says it's important to get a fine sense of how the car turns on the ice. That's what drivers can learn at the Volkswagen driving experience in Sweden. Some learn quickly, others learn not as quickly. Here you want to go. Look, look to me, look to me, look to me. Here you want to go. Don't look at the snow wall. When you, when you feel that you're going too fast, never look to the snow wall. Always look in that direction where you want to go. The 380 newton meters of torque have to be kept on a tight leash. The standard all-wheel drive grips the road and helps to push the Golf R from 0 to 100 in 5.1 seconds. Sasha Knapp would be happy just to begin to learn to drive like this. Benjamin Leuchter tries to give his students a good start in just four days, depending on the driving experience they bring to the training course. Now it's time for Sasha to take the wheel. Benjamin Leuchter is highly impressed with the enhanced engine performance, with its 300 horsepower pushing all four wheels. He says the car is a success all around. He especially likes the new Haldex drive coupling, saying it responds much faster than the one in the sixth generation Golf R. He says the car is easy and safe to drive, even for the average Joe. It's easy to control in extreme situations. Driving the Golf R on ice is almost addicting. He can hardly let go of it. After his drifting experience, Sasha is all but speechless, but it's an experience that costs around 2,900 euros altogether. The driving experience here in Avodjaur, Sweden, is definitely not cheap, but Sasha has seldom had as much fun in four days, especially not in a Golf R.